Hello and welcome back to Grammar TV. My name is Holly. And my name is Chloe. My name is Reporter Griffin. This is my partner, Reporter Romy. This is a flight helmet from the 1930s. But back to Romy and me. We work for an organisation run by kids that investigates anything strange, weird, and especially odd. This is the first episode in 18 months after an extended break and we are really excited to be bringing you news from the grammar community. Today we are bringing you updates of grammar. All today's stories are provided by the Grade 10 media students from last semester. We will now hand over to the wonderful Miss Kay, who will give you a closer look at our new Stunning Food Studies kitchen. Over to you Miss Kay. So in our kitchen downstairs, as much as we love and adore it, we did have some challenges with space. We also found that some of our equipment was becoming a little outdated and it's time for a freshen up. We are currently in our brand new kitchen, very exciting. There is going to be wonderful, beautiful stainless steel benches. There are our wonderful new cooktops and ovens. We have all new equipment to go within our cupboards and to be cooking with. We also have a wonderful new teacher's demonstration bench, which I'm very super excited about and these incredible range hoods that are going to just take away all of those smells and all of those um, cooking uh, steam that we want to help escape from the room. And we also have this amazing space that we can open out and cook al fresco straight out onto the uh, outdoor area. Very exciting. Thank you, Romy and Griffin, for that interesting story on the new Food Studies kitchen. We hope Miss Kay is enjoying her new space and a new demonstration bench. Grandma is well known for their strong tech department. Our grade 10 students last semester have created and planned their own boats to sail across the sea to restore the heart of Defeaty. There's just no telling how far they'll go. We will now hand it over to Mr Colgrave. On a marine engineering unit um, whereby students are designing, testing and then actually manufacturing a, a timber scale model planing vessel. So it's a planing hull that we're looking for. We're looking at all the characteristics of a planing hull um, and they're modelling these ideas in a foam or a styrene foam hull, testing it in a water tank and then we're upscaling it by 200% um, and th then employing traditional boat building uh, techniques. Planking, um, they'll be using King Billy uh, timber. Um, yeah, these are some finished models that the students have got to work from. Um, that's the uh, sort of carcass construction yep. um, and then um, yeah so it's uh, solely focused on marine engineering um, and looking at this one particular method of building a boat. Thank you for that report Fraser. Our grade 10 students in term 2 week 3 have ventured off to Aka boot camp. Oh, excuse me? Sorry I mean retreat. Retreat involved a week away from society and a digital detox. There were many deep TP chats, lots of arts and crafts, talent shows, game nights and bonding. We will now hand over to Sakura and Griffin. We alternate between journey of you, camp and retreat. Each activity lasts for about a week, providing the students with unique opportunities and experiences to develop lifelong skills. Retreat is a rite of passage which focuses on the mental well-being of grade 10s as they transition into adulthood. During retreat, the students participate in games, team building activities and TP chats. These chats aim to normalise talking about mental health and to help the students gain a mutual understanding of what each other are going through. Retreat is organised by Dr Clements and Miss Hoysler, who aim to create a safe environment where students feel comfortable to be themselves, share their thoughts and open up. Thank you for that retreat recap. That's this week's episode on Gamma TV. Thank you, we hope you enjoyed. Keep an eye out for another episode in the next coming month. Don't forget to smash that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.